it's not supposed to be recalcitrant. I gotta get my heater to go off, so I ain't all this uh, buzzing. Give me one sec. I can't stop, so I keep going. I can't stop, so I keep going. I don't have a melody yet, but I can't stop, so I keep going. Can't fall off, cause I'm too on. Something keep me holding on. Just my grip, it be too strong. And my reach, it be too long. Plus, I rep the guy that likes walk in peace. Fly like bone, but I get in a lot of fights. Lord, I don't know where I'm going. Myself. I don't mean to overindulge and I don't mean to deny myself Balance is the only way Balance is the only way Balance is the only way Will admit I am a What up Azor? I keep trying but I cross lines and I don't play Balance is the only way Balance is the only way Balance is the only way I'm a bit extreme, I found If it's good, let's say it's good If it's not, let's burn it down I'm just waiting for the king I'm just working for a I crown. hope you got your coffees I'm ready on to the ground And I'ma throw that on the ground Is it wrong if I say pause already? Told you I'm a little bit off Need a hook, some type of course So these folks are sing along Balance is the only way Balance is the only way Balance is the only way Will admit I am a bit extreme at times I keep calm but I cross lines and I don't play Balance is the only way Balance is the only way I can't stop so I keep going Can't fall off cause I'm too on Something keep me holding on Just my grip it be too strong And my reach it be too long Plus I rep the guy that likes Walk in peace, fly like bone But I get in a lot of fights Lord I don't know where I'm going I look out and always night God I hope you come back soon God I hope you come back right Now I'm angry every day just want to be by myself I don't mean to overindulge And I don't mean to deny myself Balance is the only way Balance is the only way What up three times? Welcome to the show, TGIF. Boy, am I happy to be here, but boy, I wish I was more prepared. So I was, uh, you know, trolling, scrolling, going through the news like I usually do. And uh, I ran into a whole bunch of different things that I didn't want to run into. I wanted it to be a Friday. And I mean, it's a Friday. I can't control that part. But I wanted it to be the kind of day where I could send y'all off with a whole bunch of positivity, motivation, and a little bit of, uh, you know, elevation. It's the Wake and Bake Show. Like I said, I don't think I said it already. Welcome to the Wake and Bake Show, your interactive Philly sports news 
philosophy, vocabulary, motivational gaming show, and I'm a fancy clown. Welcome. If you're drinking coffee, drink some coffee with me. And if you smoking, smoke. What up, planet? Damn, I'm loud as heck today. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so uh, I, I ran into a lot of stuff that I wasn't really very happy about. So uh, if I seem a little bit hesitant or I seem like I don't necessarily have a good flow or I seem like I end this shit short, that's going to be why. Because I ran into a bunch of stuff that I don't really want to talk about. But, you know, it comes down to... Uh, Whatever happens, happens here. Um, I hope everybody's good, though. Planet, glad to see you. Azor, glad to see you. Says I got a couple other people watching. And I also am not monitoring this stream, which I should be doing. Let me do that. Get in my studio mode. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. This week has been pretty hectic, man. Schedule been crazy. I've been going out looking for a job. Had to interview yesterday. That joint was crazy. It was pretty ass. Um, Bulls wanted me to put on a show. And I was like, yo, I don't put on shows. It's ironic, because I'm putting on a show right now. It's crazy. But, um... Word, 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 word. Word. Um... So, the word of the day. I had recalcitrant up there, because that was yesterday's word of the day. Show like how? Show like, oh, so I'm a bartender, right? Um, Bo was basically asking me, um, so tell me about this place. I was like, I was, all right, Bo got there 30 minutes late. So I'm already kind of pissed off. Whatever energy I had or enthusiasm I had, it was real hard for me to fake that. Um, I did get a chance to look at the place, though. But uh, once Bo started talking to me, he was like, so tell me about this place. All the information is right there on my resume. So I told him, exactly what's right there on my resume i was like well it's five thousand people usually about 16 bartenders um a lot of different kind of shows come through there i've seen some some amazing stuff there you know whatever so he's like okay okay cool cool so you worked here you worked there you worked there i'm like yeah yeah yeah. and uh he's like so do you know anything about this and i answered that and then he was like you know anything about this and i answered that and he was like okay well it seems like you got all the technical ability so you know, I'm just, I'm worried about regulars. And I was like, word, regulars, that's the most important thing. I need people to come back. Um, he's like, I'm worried about regulars. And, uh, you know, so I need somebody with personality. And then he sat there and looked at me just like that. Got quiet and shit. And I'm like, he's like, you got all the technical ability, but I just, I, I need somebody with personality. I want to know you got personality. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, yeah, that was basically that. Cause uh, people, I've I've given interviews, I've conducted interviews. When you interview somebody, you want to know if they got personality. You ask them a question, you give them a chance to shine that shit. But uh, whatever, that's just me. I'm biased, right? I'm on one side of it. But yeah, I feel like Bo wanted me to uh, be like. It was a black stone. It, it was a black owned uh, establishment, and um, I think I was already put off by it, and I wasn't about to be excited over shit. And I think that's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to show genuine enthusiasm, which is reasonable. That's not something bad to ask for, but I wasn't finna do it because I was, I was not about to be excited over nothing because bulls don't make me wait for 30 minutes. Anyways, so the word of the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm a good dancer, though. That's the funny thing. I'm a fucking rock star. That's the funny thing. Like, bro. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, though. I'm not going to sit here and prove it to you. But, yo, come on. Anyway, the word of the day is ranker. Ranker. Yeah, ranker. I've been avoiding this word because I have no, I have nothing. <laughs> I have no positive ranker. use for this word. Ranker. So it's a noun. Um, it basically, as you can see, says bitter, deep-seated ill will. Animosity, I like that antipathy bad blood okay it's a bunch of good good bad stuff rancor sheesh bitterness resentfulness especially when long-standing rancor can't really think of too much good use for rancor i mean the world is a place that's what rancorous is that how you would say it who knows but i uh, can't really see too much good use for rancor um 
just seems to be dark to me just seems to be dark and ugly and whatever whatever so like i was saying today there wasn't much that i really wanted to talk about um shout out to Zor. he sent me this i guess i will read this i don't i don't i didn't want to talk about this because i don't i didn't do my research sorry for stuttering and whatnot i didn't do my research on this so i don't actually know what's going on apparently the boy academics is beefing with some gay dude and the gay dude is like coming at him super hard and saying mad stuff about him but he can't say stuff back i did see a video clip of him yesterday where he was in his live and he was like sitting here like i'm sitting here and he was just crying he was like tears coming down his face and they was like what's wrong and he was like, I just can't say nothing. And I'm, I'm just sad because I can't say anything disrespectful about this man because I'm going to get canceled. Right? So that was what I know about it. So this is the response that Queen Latifah had for that. It's crazy to me how DJ Academics is crying, scared to say anything to Saucy Santana. That's the boy name, the gay guy. Saucy Santana because he's a gay man and he's scared of getting canceled but has said some of the most outlandish, vile, disrespectful, and demeaning things to black women with absolutely no fear whatsoever. Brings me back to Malcolm X's quote, the most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the black woman. I don't disagree with any of that. Now, what's funny about it is, I'll take it to the John Lennon quote. Y'all know John Lennon from the Beatles? He made a song called, Woman is the Nigger of the World. It was very controversial at the time, as you can imagine him being a white man and all but he was basically saying that where wherever you go whatever country culture or what have you women are going to be disrespected and they're going to be treated as sub citizens subhuman and now if you think about that i've been doing the math over my 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 years with these things in my head a black woman Psh, even more of a nigger that's a nigger's nigger right i'm just saying to the world's eyes no offense i love my black women but i do feel like it's unfortunate how they get treated out here man and uh, it's, it's good to me that Queen, Queen is highlighting that right now because, man, misogyny is just alive and well. And it, it sucks. It really does suck how bad it is. Uh, let me read this. What up, Lindsay Pop? What up, Ish Money? I ain't introduced you properly. Planet. It's hard being genuinely enthusiastic when there's no reason to stimulus or warrants it. That's what I mean. Ask me a question that stimulates me. Ask me a question I could get excited about. Like, I was even trying to prompt him. I'm like, yo, you got a nice little whiskey selection over there. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you got seven taps. He's like, yeah, eight. I was like, all right, cool. That was it. He just moved on. Like, bro, come on. Let's get down into something. What up, bruh? Heavy. Act always beefing, but that's wild. Oops, Moo Moo Fresh. Moo Moo Fresh. Act disrespects women in general. Yeah, he does. He, he treat Instagram thoughts. Instagram thoughts is his terminology. I got that from him. I never used that terminology. I never heard of it until I heard him say it. Yeah, specifically those types of women. All right, I guess we can... um transition to this because i actually see where this is going not there not quite yet right here y'all seen this one so this was like discussion worthy i don't know if it's discussion worthy like in it here does, but like it was discussion if i worthy. said this our bodies is still i told a girl the other day our bodies don't even tell us to love y'all tell us to fuck y'all like it does like if i said this it's easy to three girls back to back it's hard to fuck your girl three times in a row Right behind each other. Like, think about that. Like, if you really pre like, think about that, right? Three girls walk in back to back. You up and ready each time. It don't matter. Your girl back, like, trying to hit her three times in a row, they're going to tell you, nah, man, we don't want this. It's most cases. Like, our bodies tell us to go and get somebody else. Yeah. That's why 30 men can populate the whole planet. It's running through our bodies. It's like saying, yeah. our, our brains don't say, fall in love. It's like her and I get some of that kind <laughs> and then I'm gonna try this. <laughs> like, but they don't know that our bodies say this Instinctually. Shit, yeah. It, our bodies is still, I told a girl the other day, our bodies don't even tell us to love y'all. Yeah, I just saw it this morning. Soup. 
comments say. Now, the men am I lying? Okay. Everybody in this room is quiet as heck. Not nobody said, no, nah, but not nobody said, yeah. I really want better for men. Nigga, shut up. You too damn old to be thinking like this. Still, bro. This message is going to get lost in translation because of the poor example, but throughout history, men of power had many children because of man that has the resources to provide for many offspring has positive genetics and women want to inherit that, i.e. Nick Cannon. I ain't expecting him to go for Nick Cannon. He's not lying. What he's saying is backed by science. It's called the Coolidge effect. However, men with wives and or sexual discipline are way more successful than single men who are highly promiscuous. Wait, wait, wait. However, men with wives and or sexual discipline are way more successful. What is successful? If you want draws, what is successful? Then single men who are highly promiscuous. If promiscuity is your success, then I don't know. Let's see. Facts. What's the facts? Yo, you're not allowed to do that, Azor. You can't just say facts, bro. I read so many daggone uh, contrasting statements. Does, does anybody uh, agree or disagree? Because I can... I don't know, man. This boy sound like a fool to me. I can't even hold it in. I can't, I can't be like... I'm going to try to float on the middle of this argument right here. Because I usually can do that. But with this one, I can't really do that, bro. I can't sit here and say and it's easier to have sex with three women than it is to have sex with one woman. That's just crazy. That's crazy logic to me. And I'm not going to. I'm not even going to. Uh, uh, what else? Hmm. Who's kings anymore? Like. Like who who what type of aristocracy is running around like getting women pregnant and taking care of twenty kids, taking care of thirty kids? Like Wayne. I think Lil Wayne probably the last and only example I've seen of that. Other than that, I see more deadbeat dads than anything. Than anything at all. So I think that this type of logic, even if it might have had a exception that might have worked in some case, I think that that is clearly not the rule, because look at the prisons. Look at the kids. I done met so many, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Growing up in my circle, in my circle that I grew up in, let's say my circle had eight to ten niggas in it, bro. And let's say two of them had their dad. Maybe three. Maybe three. Let's be serious. Maybe four. But either way, it was not enough. It was not enough. It was not enough. I get his ration on his level of consciousness. But what he said just goes right back to his level of consciousness. I wouldn't call it right or wrong. Animals do animal things. Respectable people do respectable things. ETC, ETC. Damn, that's wisdom. I love that. I love that. That's amazing. Um, See, the problem is, man, I don't think it's... Uh, let's see. Let me think before I say this. You're calling him an animal. And you're saying animals do animal things. Damn. I guess I guess in my mind I don't I don't I don't know. You think it works for him? You think he's uh You think he's like like happy? <laughs> you think he feels fulfilled? You think he's found uh, companionship or anything like that? Does he even want that? Does he value that? I don't know. Yeah, amen to that, planet. The, the exception does not define the rule. In my opinion, the rule would be biologically we are designed to populate and reproduce and our libido and sexual prowess can allow men to have that sex drive. Hardware versus programming. I mean, shoot, there's women that catch 20 bodies a, a year, too, out here. I mean, they talking about it. It's online. I didn't highlight those videos, but they out here. 
Now, don't get me wrong, they're not dropping 20 kids a year. What he said, hardware versus programming. Sheesh, that's crazy. Yeah, my dude's programming is all, all, all out of funk. I don't know if there's any balance there. I don't know if there's enough balance there. I don't know, man. But I do, I do respect that each telling me you can't call it right or wrong. Um, I do have a tendency to want to call things right or wrong, or want to a disagree, uh, agree or disagree with them. That's, I guess, that's where I'm at with it. Um, yeah, but yeah, this John is. I ain't gonna lie, this John just enraged me, bro. This John just enraged me. It just made me angry, honestly. It really just made me angry. Oh look, y'all seen this John? He's the bare legs. He's the bare legs. This was the most positive thing I could find today, yo. Just to have y'all like, you know, be able to walk into y'all weekend smooth. Modern tradition. All right, plenty of folks out here in need of computer programmer, aka God. Amen. Modern traditions have rewired men to value sanctimonious relationships. So having multiple partners seems abstract or incorrect, but naturally we can. You believe in a uh, polygamy planet? Like you believe polygamy is sustainable? I'm asking. I'm not like trying to project or anything. Because I do have, um, I have two friends that are close in my circle who are self proclaimed polygamists. And um, I, I was with a girl at one point who was also poly. Uh, oh, she, she was trying to be. It's actually more common than I thought it was some time ago. I believe polygamy has its place, as does abstinence. Yeah, I'm not, I can't really say confidently that everything is right for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty much against the rules of moderation, right? Um, so, I also, falling back on whatever uh, historical or biblical knowledge that I might possess, I would have to say that there's been a long line of men who went unmarried and were quite successful in what they, they ventured and were happy. Um... I can't say that I've seen too many examples of men who had like four or five wives where that was the case. I can actually say that historically in almost every case where I saw men who had like mad wives, that John, that, that John, you know, it was a bad John, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but that's just what I've seen. You know what I mean? There's obviously going to be things that I haven't seen and there's going to be different contexts. Would y'all eat bare legs? These Johns look tender. You can't deny it. John's look tender. He cut the feet off. The feet was probably tough. Let's go, planet. Don't say Solomon. Well, you ain't gonna say Solomon. I know you ain't gonna say Solomon. Them Jones look good, don't they? Would y'all eat that? I had alligator two or three days ago, and it, it kind of got me on my ish. You know what I'm saying? It kind of got me like thinking like, you know what? I don't really eat that much meat, so might as well try it, right? Try everything. What is he spraying? I imagine that's like vegetable oil or something. I really don't know. Might be tenderizer. I really don't know. I don't grill. Matter of fact, Planet be grilling? What's up, Planet? What he spraying on that? I'm not going to judge you, Planet. Because at the end of the day, your actions will go a whole lot further than words. And it's just how it is. And you are, right now, as far as I know, the only married person in this discussion. <laughs> Happily, I might add. Apple cider. He said apple cider or vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Oh my God. I'm getting, I'm getting excited. All right. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me go back to the before. Let me go back to the before. I just, I just sold y'all. Let me unsell y'all now. <laughs> all right. Let me 
Oops. Oops. I'm, I'm still waiting for the planet uh, response. That's not going. That's not going to get any judgment. I'll check out these comments on, in the meantime. Help the bear. But nah, y'all out here eating bear. New day, new me type of vibes. No, but I'm camping this weekend. And I'm doing lamb. And y'all wonder where all these viruses came from. Seriously, though, where this nigga steal this bear meat from? Because I know he ain't killing himself. And never have I ever seen bear meat for sale anywhere. You got to look for it, bro. He wasn't looking. Is, is it you? I mean, the fact that them legs is bigger than his legs, that's, that's kind of crazy. But other than that, it ain't really a... I don't think it's a ooh thing. Once you get the feet off of it, you can't identify it so easily. If somebody was to just take a little slab of it off, you know, take it off the bone, that joint would probably be appetizing. At the very least, it would be appetizing. Like I said, I just had alligator the other day. Couldn't tell me it wasn't. It was better. Than, it was definitely better than chicken. Yeah. I was about to say, you couldn't tell me it wasn't amazing, though. All right. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm waiting. I'm trying to give uh, Planet some time with this uh, polygamy thing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to avoid talking about all this other stuff because I know this is just going to be a can of worms right here. This really is just going to be a can of worms. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Like uh, he's having a uh, nice feast. She, 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 her. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. But it was not all good. Hi. I use she, her pronouns. I'm not sir. Yeah, like it, it. It's like a knife in the heart. I also, I did specifically ask ahead of time not to be called sir. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Okay. The sweet so water starts at. Yes, okay. Sir? Not. I mean, I, not, I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's just always like a knife. It always hurts every single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I, I was called sir. Oh. Men are sexual creatures and by nature have selfish desires of conquest at various capacities. Agreed. We appreciate women and sex like we appreciate art. Moreover, I believe what we see in our wives are the same qualities we see in our mothers. Otherwise, they wouldn't be our wife. No? Agreed. I have more. Let's go. Let's go. I don't disagree with anything so far. Anybody else got any thoughts? Speaking of which, day two, in, in, in. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it less vulgar. But day two, you know what I'm saying? If I come on here and don't say nothing, y'all y'all understand. It just really sucks every time it happens. I don't need to be called ma'am. I just need to not be called sir, you know? Thank you. Did you call me sir? I, I just want to tell you that the person who gave me this called me sir. What? Call me sir. Oh. Yeah, call just like, it kind of just hurts a lot to get called sir. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. No, oh, I'm, yeah. Thank you. I'm not a sir. <sighs> Nothing like a good misgendering. It does, it is a knife in the gut when I get called sir. I, I feel like I need to tell him. <laughs> I need to tell him that that hurts. It hurts more though and it's not intentional because it means like this did this is sir to him I, I don't think you missed that much you ain't missed that much i, w I was uh delaying a good bit because i was trying to give planet time to uh say to say having multiple partners satisfies different desires instinctually much like having friends best friends and friends with benefits
I mean, conquering and conquering is conquering. When men see and appreciate the art of a woman, we have a propensity to want it for our own. It's true. This is true. This is true. Like a collector. Yes, like a collector. But that shit is distracting, man. <laughs> shit has ruined my life, bro. Like, you know how much years I done spent on that collecting in pursuit? And I ain't, I am unfulfilled. And I really, really wish that I was collecting something else instead over time, over this amount of time. That's my honest just feels on the matter. But that's just speaking from my experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I do agree with literally everything you said, but I don't think that that's um, the pinnacle of human nature. I think that that is just like the base level of human nature. I think that that is where we start. And I think that with <clears throat> self-discipline, um, good standards, good community values, and the support of a loved one who loves you, understands where you're at, maybe not one, maybe one, yeah, who knows, that understands you, knows where you're at, and goes out of their way to help you get what you need, and you doing the vice versa, same for that. Um, I think that can be a whole lot less uh, costly and a whole lot less expensive time and money and energy than it is to go about that pursuit of collection. Um, I also think it probably will pay off more in the long run because, you know, the more you can do for anybody, one person, then the more it'll pay off over time. Like I would, I would basically like to make a deeper investment in one person than I would like to make shallower investments in like three or four. Um, these is just my opinions. Like I said, I'm not trying to say nobody's right or wrong. Uh, but also, you think about the community that you build, which is children. Um, children, if you have a child in a household with more than two mothers, more than two fathers, uh, my, my, my brother, matter of fact, my brother Muslim, he was born in that. Uh, his mom, her mom, was one of three wives. So his, his, uh, his grandpa, Ibrahim, had three wives. And they was rocking in Southwest like that. And you know what? It's, it's what it is, you know? My brother can't stay out of jail. I'm not blaming it on his fucking family situation, but I'm just saying I'm not going to sit here and discount the effects of having such a, um, such a radical family unit, you know, might have on a youth. I don't know. Let me read all these comments. Let me catch up to y'all. I'll summarize by saying we want women because they are beautiful. Yeah, we do. We like the beauty of variety as well. Yes, we do. Your cat was looking at you like, yeah, she loves me, man. She loves me. When a cat stares at you, that's their way of saying I love you. Uh, love how, always, yeah, she's, she's wild. She's wild. Um, and what's the old, so I got another cat. She just don't care about me as much. Y'all never see her. And what's the old saying? Variety is the spice of life. Absolutely. It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, I hate, to, I hate that you just said that. <laughs> yep. Aunt, uncles, godmoms, goddads, ETC. Stepmoms, stepdads. <sighs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I can't, I can't really sit here and make a, a non-biblical case for monogamy. I tried to already make a historical one. And then my experiential one that I had, um, yeah, that's about it. I will say this, though. There was a time in my life where I tried to date uh, three women at once, and that was the most exhausting thing I've ever done in my life. And I was like, the, the calling and the texting and the being here and being there. And I wasn't even trying to hide it. Like, it wasn't one of those things that I had to hide. But it was like, imagine if I was trying to hide it, how much more it would be exhausting. It was like, I just had so much to fulfill. It was like having two part-time jobs or three full-time jobs sorry that's what i meant to say 
Um, yeah, it was just annoying. It's just very annoying. So, sex without strings attached. That's pretty much, that became the pursuit after that. But that can also become annoying and expensive as well. Um, there's wisdom precedents for various lifestyles. Absolutely. Absolutely. The other thing is my my lack of knowledge and wisdom. I I also have to say I can't let that, um, I can't let that paint every decision that I make. But that's why it's good to have these discussions because essentially, you know, eyes can be open. But like I said, that's only if I'm not saying clearly what you know, saying clearly what the Bible said. But uh, either way. I'm gonna give out this video play. I know you didn't mean it, but I'm not a sir. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know you didn't mean it. It's just, you know, it hurts. I know when people clock me, it's it's fine, but like it does kind of hurt. Thank you. I'm not I've seen some people I think might be built for it. I got some I I done had some homies, I ain't gonna say I got I done had some homies with two or three phones. Not sir. Not sir. But the guy who dropped the, the, the food off, he called me sir twice in a row. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. So. There's a couple of different things that could be said here. But the first thing I'll say is, this person's meals is crazy. Looks like uh, he's having a uh, nice feast. This person's meals are cheer. amazing. Yeah, it's okay. It was not all good. So, so I did specifically ask ahead. Oh, okay. Sir? Not. I mean, not, uh, not, I don't like oysters. The person who gave me this called me sir. What? Called me sir. Oh. Eating with the dog. Uh, Just like when I get called sir. I... Okay. Yeah, I guess so, maybe. Um, do you think that the people who are helping the person, because let's say, all right, if the person comes into the joint and I'd be like, yo, what up, dog? And I don't know. All right, cool. That's my fault. I'm, I mean, that's not my fault. That's let me know. Cool. But if, if the person comes in and says, I I prefer to be called this or that. And then I say whatever I want to say. Do I get in trouble? Am I is it right for me to get in like should the managers have a talking to me about that? Cuz I've been in these situations. So like if I'm the person dropping off the food and I say sir and then they say no, call me ma'am and then I say okay sir. Should I be in trouble for that? Should I get in trouble for that? Like, should the manager have to, like, should the manager actually be talking to me about that? Because, like, I'm not in this person's situation, but I am very often in the situation of the person dropping the food off. And so I want to know, like, this voice is massively heard Their voice is massively deep. See what I did there? See what I did there? Hospitality. A lot of reason why you resign from the school system. Okay, so can I ask you this then? If my if my opinion isn't obvious or whatever, if if somebody comes to you in a, in a, any type of professional situation and they say, "Call me upstairs." That's my name. Call me upstairs. I prefer to be called upstairs. Is there something wrong with calling them upstairs? Even if they birth certificate and they ID don't say it. Is that any different? Should it be considered any different? So if somebody says, and then, <clears throat> if somebody says, I was about to say, and then, they said, don't even call me. They said, I don't even need you to call me, ma'am. Just don't call me, sir, please. 
Okay, sir. So, I'm not necessarily asking nobody. I'm not walking up to nobody like, yo, you look different. How should I call you? No, nah, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is, most of the time, I, I just keep it massively, like, inclusive. Like, I just be like, hey, how y'all doing? You know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't try to specify nothing. I don't try to identify anything. But if somebody actually makes a request, then I'll still keep it massively, massively inclusive. I'll try to stay as ambiguous as possible for as long as I can. But if somebody requests literally that I don't call them something, then I'm probably going to try my best not to call them that thing. Especially because I'm here on a business, right? I got a job to do, right? So like at the end of the day, right, I'm on this clock and I don't represent my own personal beliefs and my own personal feelings. I actually represent the feelings and the beliefs of this business that I represent with this. I ain't going to say this name across my chest, but you know. Figuratively, hypothetically speaking, it's name across my chest. So if person don't want to be called sir, then I'm probably not going to call him sir. Like, because that's not hospitable. Yeah, I think that was super reasonable. I really do. It's weird, but it's not what you are not at that point. It's just a name. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't got to stand. I don't have to be uh, so insistent upon you accepting that you had a dick when you was born. You know what I mean? Like, that's, ain't, that's, not, a, that's not a hill that I need to really die on while I'm dropping your fucking food off. Sorry. My apologies. That, that effing was a lapse of thought. I love the big general ambiguous approach. Yeah, man. Why not? Why not? For real. It's a big general world sometimes. <laughs> just tell me your name fam um i had i had a, a trans individual come into my establishment one time had a full beard and but i was like this person clearly does not want to be called any of this stuff so i was like i'm not gonna call them nothing i'm just assume that they know that i don't know what to do <laughs> And that's what that's what rocked, and that's been my policy ever since, for the most part. Uh, I also worked at a, a job where I worked with a they. This is the same job. I worked not the same as the before job, but I worked at a different job where this job I worked with a they. I worked with um, another they, and then I worked with a, a he, but you know, a born female who wanted to be called he. I just called them by their names to go along with Planet Point. I just called them by their names because it became super confusing sometimes. And then I did call, I did call one of the days she, and she was just like, I was like, oh, my bad. I got you, Sarah. But at the end of the day, like, if you ask me as a person, I feel crazy when you say this to me. Can you not say this to me? I don't want to be the type of person to be like, what? What's wrong with saying that to you? You got a problem? I need to be able to say what I want to say to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Americans, not even Americans, people, we feel entitled to a whole lot of stuff that's kind of like just inflammatory for no reason. What's up, Azor? Come on, Azor. Azor be hell. I'm, I'm the main character. It disrupts our whole second to fifth grade grammar education. Yeah, pronouns. It does. Disrupts a lot. I saw this article earlier. Um, what was this? Is this it? Nope. Hmm. I saw this. I wasn't expecting to see this either, but high school students walk out of class. <sighs> high school students walk out of class and protest of trans transgender bathroom policy. They ignore us. That's the quote. Students at high school in Loudoun County Public Schools 
walked out in protest of the district's gender policy that allows non-binary, gender fluid, and transgender students to use whichever school bathrooms and lockers, locker rooms, locker rooms, they want based on their chosen gender. Where are my glasses, man? Sorry, they're not at hand. Anyway, around 50 to 100 students at Woodgrove High School participated in the walkout to protest policy 8040, which the Loudoun County School Board implemented in 2021, ABC WILA reported. The students said they wanted LCPS to revert to a policy that provided female and male only spaces, including bathrooms, locker rooms, and showers. That's the request. The students came together and made a request. In the locker rooms in the morning, it's an invasion of privacy, as I said, because when men and natural born males are in our locker rooms and they are showering in the morning, natural born females can walk in there as they please, one male high school student told WJLA. I thought it was ILA, sorry. And that is not okay, and it goes against what we believe in. That's a, a dude said that. A female student told the local news outlet she stopped using bathroom, the bathroom at the school because of the policy, calling it a massive uh, safety risk at LCPS. Doesn't do anything about it. We express these concerns and they ignore us and write us off as right-wing crazies, she said. We're not crazy, we just don't want to be in danger on a daily basis in this building. I think it's people, see it's funny because now it sounds super, they sound, these kids sound majorly conservative, don't they? Like it's a slant. Um, on a daily basis in the building, I think it's people finally stepping up and just being sick of it. We're sick of being here and just being completely ignored. I stopped using them, the bathrooms, because I don't know what's going to happen to me in there. And people can be like, oh, well, that's paranoid. I'm telling you right now, half of the women in this building feel the same way, she added. We don't use the bathrooms. We hold our pee until we can't. I mean, there are girls in PE who still get changed in the bathroom stalls in there because they're afraid of who might waltz in. Another male student told WJLA that he would like to be able to change after football practice and not feel uncomfortable that other genders are watching him. I feel that girls feel the same way about the situation. How would you feel if you are a female changing with a male, he asked. Some counter-protesters waved pride flags in support of the bathroom policy, the outlet reported. I'm here to support all of the children, one of them told WJLA, no matter who they are, yours, mine, all of them. One student said the entire school should be a part of a walkout, but another explained there are a lot of people who are scared to speak out against it, so they stayed inside because they don't want to, be, they don't want to see the backlash. Uh, I think that's about it. This is this LA? I ain't, yeah, I just want y'all to know, I don't be reading this stuff before I uh, talk about it on here. Kind of want genuine reactions. Uh, Students High School, Loudoun County Public Schools. Can we copy on here? Copy. How do we paste though? Long click. I don't know. Anyway. <sighs> bro. Shout out to bro. Um, they aren't going to be good until them cases start flooding and shaking my head. Now that is too far. Shout out to bro. Every school about to have seven gender specific bathrooms on every floor. Yeah, that's the thing. Because the problem is, I remember my parents told me a long time ago. Can't please everybody. And that's what's going to happen with, like, the, the justice system. Not the justice system, sorry. The uh, education system and the medical system and a lot of other systems. Now, it's funny. We don't see this in the justice system. Do we? we don't see this in prisons, do we? Ah, that's crazy, isn't it? Huh. Anyway, uh, they are going to have to keep trying to make exceptions for everybody. And um, it's going to stretch all of our resources and all of our patience. And uh, like you said, there's going to be seven bathrooms on every floor. And uh, it's going to be L, a G, a B. It's, it's going to be all of them. It's going to be a bunch of different letters and designations. But 
I guess it just is what it is, y'all. Let's see. Do we got anything else? Uh, this doctor is basically saying she now nah, did watch this. She's saying that she went to school for anthropology. And she says transgenderism is throwing the science off the rails, which means nobody cares about what she does anymore because her whole job is literally coming up with science that proves like genders. So everybody's like, no, get out of here, lady. You're not important. And she's bad because she spent a lot of money learning all of that stuff. And she's saying that they're making really groundbreaking science in it. But no one cares about it. <laughs> so she's being like, you know, silenced. Um, let's see. Doctor who pioneered transgender treatments for children speaks out. Yeah, she said negative things. I don't want to go that deep, though. Anyway, that's what I was saying. It was a bunch of stuff I didn't really want to talk about today. But, hey, we here, man. Y'all stuck with me. I appreciate y'all. See it in the prison system. The transgender man that impregnated, like, three inmates. Get out my face. Get out my face. No, that didn't happen. That's not real. Give me your sources. I will find them. M. Preg. Nate. Id. NJ trans prisoner who impregnated two inmates transferred to damn. That's all you got to do, bro. That's all you got to do out here. Just say F the truth and just be like, I'm, I'm going to live in my own fantasy and everybody's going to be with it. Get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I had to go to real jail. I had to go to real jail with real men. So mad. I'm so mad right now. I could cry. Transgender inmate has just, thanks you, thank you, Ish. Transgender inmate has been transferred out of the only women's prison in New Jersey after impregnating two female inmates. Demi Minor, 27, has been moved to the vulnerable housing unit at the Garden State Youth Correctional. Why you got them amongst children now? What the? Come on, learn your lesson. Garden State Youth Correctional Facility, a prison for young adults aged 18 to 30. Oh, that's youth? What? I don't get it. Whatever. According to Dan Sparazza, a new, Sparazza, a new Jersey Department of Corrections spokesman, Sparazza confirmed there are three trans women housed in the youth facility's vulnerable housing unit, though the prison's general population houses only men. Minor's removal from the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility for, women's, for Women comes just a year after the state reached a settlement with the American Civil Liberties Union of New Jersey to house transgender inmates according to their gender identity instead of their sex assigned at birth. The facility currently housed 27 transgender inmates. I got a feeling that it's a trend that just caught on. I think two or three of them was like for real and then the other ones was like, she. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Sparazza said, decisions related to an incarcerated person's housing are made within the parameters of the settlement agreement, which requires consideration of gender identity and the health and safety of the individual. The ACLU of New Jersey did not provide a response to NBC News' request for a comment regarding minors' prison transfer. Minor, who is serving a 30-year prison sentence for manslaughter, a you got 30 years. You're going you're gonna to say some things. Impregnated the fellow inmates earlier this year following consensual sexual relationships. Sparazza confirmed. He added that even consensual sex between inmates is prohibited in the state. Last year. That's crazy. That's prohibited. That's crazy. Last year, two inmates at Edna Mahan filed a lawsuit challenging the state's policy and practice of housing some pre-gender confirmation surgery transgender women. That's a lot of words. Adding that it violates their constitutional rights, according to court documents. In a letter from Minor posted to the blog Justice for Demi, oh, they got a website. 
which often publishes videos and letters from her. She described her removal from Evan. I'm gonna, oh, fuck, I gotta do it, bro. I gotta do it. All right. Punishment for having sex with two women. As a woman who is transgender, I truly feel what lies ahead for me. It's clear that staff have looked for some kind of security reason to kick me out and remove me from my two girlfriends. The only female correctional facility. Minor wrote in the post, which was published Friday, they have thrown me to the wolves, wolves, and expected me to just gave up. I am baffled and disgusted by this youth's power, and I can only ask that the commissioner and governor's office please send me back. I don't deserve to be treated like this. In a separate post published July 5th, the blog alleged a group of correctional officers beat Minor in a van while transferring her. Them. The Department of Corrections said an investigation determined the assault allegations to be unfounded. The department has zero tolerance for abuse. Um, all right, I got to go to the website now. I'm sorry. Y'all sent me on a daggone rabbit hole. No, non-consensual. Wait. Come on. Stop, Azor. No, consensual is not allowed. And I'm sure non-consensual is not allowed either. About justice for Demi. Letters from Demi? Videos? I just want to see what Demi look like. I bet Demi a whole nigga, bro. Ooh, bad sound. Demi does have breasts. I do too. I just need more protein. All right. So, I guess we're going to move on to the quarter today. It's been a spirited episode, y'all. I was actually very nervous. I didn't even know what was going to happen, and I didn't think I was going to have nothing to talk about. I thought it was going to be like 20 minutes, and we was going to be out of here. But here we are. So... Thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all coming through. Oh, before I say goodbye, let's get a quote. So I saw they got a list. They have a list of the top hundred. Found one I like. Wait, what? Oh, that's dope. Walt Whitman. That was dope. This ain't the one I was doing. Keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. That's pretty beautiful. That's pretty beautiful. But nah, that's the one I wanted. Sun Tzu. The supreme art of war is to subdue an enemy without fighting. Peace. Peace. Even in war. Peace. Peace. Like I said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all kicking it with the boy. If you're not already follow, follow a fancy clown on Twitch. You can also check these videos out on YouTube. They get reposted. YouTube at a fancy clown. Check out TRM Podcast. It's the realest podcast in the streets. You can check that out on Spotify, Apple, anywhere else you get uh, podcasts from. And you can follow T the TRM Podcast on Twitter for your daily dope content. If you're not a part of the Discord, you can also jump on the Discord. I'm trying to have fun on there a little bit more lately. Uh, like I said... I love y'all. Thanks for kicking it. Have a wonderful weekend. And hopefully I uh, didn't send y'all off on too much of a negative uh, note. Pieces. Deuces. Tossing the Dunkins. Chunking the deuces. Play a song before I get out of here. Y'all be putting the pressure on me. I'll be wanting to play only good songs now. Huh. All right, I felt this way one day. I don't feel it today though. It's mood music, baby.
crib like 24 heat on wake up too early on step too late kids all on me like the ice cream man i ain't worried about nothing except trying to feed the fam i bread soon you could probably get along but other than that you can leave her alone and Like 24 hate on, wake up too early on, stay up too late. Kids all on me like the ice cream, man. I ain't worried about nothing except trying to feed the fam. I bread soon, you could probably get along, but other than that, you can leave her alone. And